Harry Meglin here with Rachel Pauly and we're your hosts for the Merry Writer podcast. We are on episode nine and this week's question is what is your worst data loss? Before we begin don't forget to subscribe to the podcast wherever you're listening so you never miss a show. If you enjoy our episodes please give them a like. So we're talking data loss. Ooh, not good. Rachel have you ever had a heart-wrenching moment of losing data? Yes yes I have. Not only is this my worst data loss, it is my only data loss. I had a flash drive that was in the shape of a turtle and I put everything on that thing. And I never saved anything anywhere else but on the flash drive because, you know, at that time I thought the flash drive would be indestructible. And I thought it was better than saving it on the actual computer in case the computer died. But the flash drive broke and I lost about five, I think, novels. Oh, ouch. Yep. Did it like, like physically break? Was it damaged? Like, did you drop it on something? Or did it go through the washing machine? <clears throat> Not that I've done that. <clears throat> <laughs> no, actually, it, I thought it was the flash drive itself that broke, but it was later on, I found out that the USB port of my laptop broke. So when uh, I plugged it in, it corrupted the flash drive. Uh, and I only found that out because I got a new flash drive and when I tried plugging it in, nothing happened. Oh, that's annoying. That's just like, yeah. you expect it to be one thing and it's like, and, and it's like, there's not much you can do about the port, especially on a kind of laptop. Right. You know, it's like the faff of trying to open the laptop up, well, get obviously a professional to sort that out. Oh, what a pain. Yeah, I mean, this was years ago. So the novels that I lost, it, it's probably fine. I mean, the writing was horrendous anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember that my first NaNoWriMo novel was on there. And that's not something oh. I will ever go back to. No. But the fact that was like the very first challenge I ever did and I had completed it. So losing that was kind of heartbreaking because that was like the first novel I had ever completed and I did it in such a short amount of time. But it's, I mean, it happens and lesson learned. Now I save my stuff everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. It's like I say, it's like, even if you weren't going back to it, there's like a sentimentalness to, to, to the, the fact it's your first and you did so well with it. It's like, I can understand wanting to keep that and kind of the heartbreak of losing that. Oh, that was actually quite upsetting. Like, right. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, I still have the flash drive. Yeah, I mean, it's in the shape of a turtle. It's cute. I felt bad throwing it away. <laughs> I have to say, I love that. None of my pen drives or flash drives look anything like anything. They're just like little, you know, rectangles. I feel like I'm losing out that I haven't got one in the shape of, of something. So I'm probably going to have to go and search out flash drives in the shape of strange animals because I suddenly really feel like I need that in my life. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It adds a little flair to it. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, what, what about you? What's the worst data loss you've ever had? Oh, there's been so many. <laughs> um, <laughs> probably years ago, I lost half of a, of a finished story when one of my floppy disks, yes, I am that old, got corrupted. I, I did actually have backups because what I'd do is I'd have a master copy of a floppy disk and then I'd have like two or three backups, but they all corrupted because the problem was I was saving the backups from the master rather than having the story on the computer and then backing it up on the master and then backing up on the backup disks. I did what you did. I had everything on the floppy disk and then I would just back up that floppy disk. So when the master corrupted, it just passed the corruption through all the backups because oh. I didn't know any better. <laughs> and That's awful. <laughs> even though I only lost half of it, it was the, the latter half and it was the better part of the writing. And I know I'm never gonna go back to that story. And then a few years after that, when I was in college, one of my IT professors was actually able to restore some of the chapters from that disc. It, it was moved into that maybe one day pile because it was a good story idea. It was actually sci-fi, which I haven't written in years, but that's what I, one of the things I started with when I was writing. And I did enjoy the story. So it has, now that we have got more of the chapters back, it still hasn't fully been restored. And obviously, you know, floppy disks, we don't even have computers that can read floppy disks anymore. So obviously it's all been transferred onto flash drives. And I may eventually one day when I'm retired, go back and try and breathe some life into it, maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. Like this, the novels that were on my flash drive, I remember two of them. Well, no, that's a lie. I remember three of them. I don't know what the others were. I know, I think it was at least five novels that were on there though. 
but one of the novels was the first draft, like the very first draft of book one of my mystery series. And, but luckily I had that printed out for edits. So I didn't technically lose that. I was able to just retype it up after I edited it. Yeah, that's good. So that that's good. worked out fine. But the other novels, I didn't really care too much about because they, you know, they're fun to look back on because it's your first writing. But the one I really cared about was the mystery novel. Yeah. And that's good that you were able to save that because you had the printed copy. Right. That's good. It's like, I, I had a data loss in 2017. I should call it an almost data loss. I spilled a whole cup of hot tea onto my laptop and I was devastated, not only because it like completely killed my laptop, but it was a really good cup of tea. And I think I'd taken three sips and then I put it down really badly and it just tipped over and just covered the whole laptop. And you know, you have that moment where you're just like, no, and then you're just frozen. So Yeah, it's like slow motion. Yeah. You're watching it, but you can't stop it. <laughs> I think I just stood there staring at the laptop for like 10 minutes like I don't know what to do. Now oh. I did rinse the laptop out and I left it to dry for ages and it wasn't working and thankfully I did have most of my work and most of my photos and everything backed up on a cloud system and then again in 2018, I have really bad luck don't I? In 2018 my current laptop died and I took that to a repair shop and they managed to retrieve all the data, fix the laptop, and now that's fine. And what's really funny is my old laptop that I dropped tea on actually works now. So I have a backup laptop, but I don't trust it. I'm really, really like, I just, I'm so against it now. It's like, it, it hurt me once. I refuse to, to trust it anymore. So it sits in the corner and I scowl at it on occasion. <laughs> it's not the laptop's fault. It was the tea's fault. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame the tea. <laughs> anything you should put the tea in a timeout and go have some coffee for our last episode <laughs> oh, you're just so mean Rachel you're so mean <laughs> it had to be said I had to I had to bring it back it's but, like a punishment I mean having coffee is a punishment no it's not <laughs> but <laughs> you're in a kiddie mood today I know <laughs> but I will say it's it's great that that laptop is actually working now so that you do have a backup, even though you don't trust it. No. Um, but your, your other laptop, that's awesome that the repair shop was able to retrieve all of your data and fix the laptop because that's really hard to come by. When my flash drive broke, of course, at the time, we didn't really know what we thought it was the flash drive that actually broke. And my uncle works in IT and tech and all that stuff. And he tried to restore the files, but he couldn't. So I just thought it was a lost cause. <laughs> but the funny thing is, it actually still works because I did try to plug it into my current laptop that I have now, and it still worked. I, there were no files on it, but I was able to save stuff on it. So that just further proved that the USB port in my other laptop just fried it, just burned everything to a crisp, and that was it. So you trust the turtle USB, even though... I know you said it was the laptop, but you still trust the, the turtle USB to save more stuff on it? Mm. Yes, it's a turtle and it's adorable. <laughs> of course I trust it. <laughs> I agree, curious. it's probably adorable. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you saying you don't agree with anything else? <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would pause at the idea of, of testing it with, with more files. I would be very suspicious of trusting the turtle again. I'd be like, oh, no. No, no. But that is fair. I honestly, I didn't even think about it. I just found, I have a bunch of flash drives and I found them the other day. And I was like, oh, let's see what's on these things. And I saw the turtle one and I just tried it just for the heck of it. Do you think that's a writer thing that we just have loads of USB flash drives all over the place? Because I have like a little drawer on my desk and every time I open it, it's got like I seem to have more flash drives in than I remember. They just seem to be like breathing in there. And I have no <laughs> friggin' idea what's on any of them. Because the main ones I use are in a special case and they've all got like little tags on that tell me what's on them. And the rest of them are just sitting in this, this drawer. And they're ones with maybe like a corporate name on or something. Or you know, like um you know, like sometimes you get things with with a you know company logo on or anything. And honestly, I don't even recognize some of these companies. So I don't know where these these flash drives have come from. And what's on them and I don't know I should probably you know allocate some time and, and do what you do and go through them and find out what the heck I've been saving on these random flash drives. I think you should I think it would be a fun trip down memory 
the lane. But I, I do agree because they do just accumulate. It's like pens and notebooks. <laughs> As writers, we just, we go into a store and we're like, oh, that's pretty. Let me have it. <laughs> but then you don't have to remember buying four of them. And you're like, should I only bought the blue one? And then there's like four others. But they are useful. Notepads, flash drives. But I mean, to be fair, like way back when, flash drives were how you saved, saved stuff. I mean, I do remember floppy disks. I used them a lot when I was in elementary school. Um, but flash drives, yeah, they just, that's how you saved stuff. You're making me feel so old. Yeah. You're making me feel so old. <laughs> Your years of in elementary school. We didn't even have computers back in elementary school. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. You're welcome. <laughs> No, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. But I mean, there wasn't, we didn't have Google Drive. We didn't have Dropbox. It was either the computer or a thumb drive or floppy disk. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we had um, a lot of like, I think before flash drives became a thing, I remember external hard drives were, a, were kind of a good backup system, you know, little like rectangular box with a wire and that's where you saved everything and you know if you were lucky you had a pretty decent capacity to it but usually not and now you can get these little tiny flash drives that are like you know 64 gig or more so yeah I think I think they are I think the problem with flash drives is they have this look of being sturdier floppy disks always had a little bit of flex too much flexibility with themselves and, and like even like cds you know when we used to do cd read write and everything you could save your stuff on cd they were too easy to scratch too easy to snap things like that whereas flash drives they've got this kind of sturdiness so you do kind of think that they'll last forever and ever and they can go through the washing machine and i say that because i have had two flash drives go through the washing machine and i really need to start checking pump pockets <laughs> but, but to be fair they did come out fine they did actually work not for long so it was like put them in take everything off and then it usually died like the third try so yeah don't put them through your washing machine it's not good you know what at least you had a second shot at it <laughs> you were able to retrieve your stuff and save everything before the ship finally sunk <laughs> oh yeah yeah but i think protecting your data is so important and i think it's always been quite shocking when i've talked about protecting data before online and people have been like oh i just save it on my computer and it's like oh no 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 don't just save it on your computer whether you trust cloud backup or not you know, I know some people don't like cloud backup because you're technically saving your work on, a, on some sort of random server somewhere else. And we've all heard the stories of hackers getting into servers. I don't think they'd be interested in any of the stuff we save. It's like, they're sat there rolling through all of our stories, you know. It's like, no, I can't imagine it, but you never know. But you definitely need to save your stuff somewhere. You definitely need to assume the worst, that your laptop's going to break, your flash drive's going to corrupt, and you need to do whatever you can. So that's definitely multiple save points. I definitely, I, there's no other way I can say it. It's like, it's so important for all writers to, even if you've never had a data loss, it could happen and you don't want to go through that. Oh yeah. There's a first time for everything. <laughs> there will, you will have a data loss at some point. <laughs> Not to sound ominous, but you know, I mean, I used to save everything on my computer. Like, cause when we used to have like a big, one of those big bulky desktop computers mm. I saved everything on there and then that broke because we had a flood in our basement and that just went bye-bye so I guess in a way yeah I have had more than one data loss <laughs> <laughs> I think about it but when I got my laptop and I got the flash drive because I was like in case something happens to my laptop I can't save anything on there it's just gone I couldn't save anything on the desktop that was all wiped out I got the flash drive and then that broke so now I back everything up times 12 I I save it on the computer I save it on a flash drive I save it on Dropbox I sometimes email things to myself because yeah. worst comes to worst if I have like a word document I can just email it and I can log into my email from somebody else's computer and I still have it yeah I think that's it it's like I I do the same I have flash drives I have external hard drives I do save things on my laptop but obviously everything is backed up I use Dropbox I use iDrive <laughs> I think I use Mega I have like three different cloud systems and I think one of the reasons I like cloud systems as well as other things is what you said you said you had a flood 
So people think, like, oh yeah, the laptop can break. It's okay. I've got it on a flash drive. It's like, that's great. But if you had a fire in your house or if your house was burglarized and they took all your tech, you could lose everything. And I mean, yeah. I do, I do actually have a little fire safe, but again, it's like, it's literally a, a, a fireproof a fire safe, a fireproof safe that can keep things safe. But the problem is, even if it's only got like novel stuff in that's of no in interest to burglars, if they saw it and they were, oh, there's a little mini say, I'll take it. So then that's pointless having, I don't even know why I have it. <laughs> so having the cloud system to back up some of your work is useful for the fact that worst case scenario and your house burns down, you haven't lost all of your writing stuff. And I do, I am one of those people that like looks at worst case scenario, which is why I think about houses burning down. I do the same thing. I, I overthink everything and I think of the worst case scenario. And that's why I utilize Dropbox so much because I have Dropbox on my phone and I have it on my, my iPad and I can easily log into it through a computer. So it's in all these different spots, but it's in one place. Yeah, exactly. And it's easy, easily accessible. It just gives you that little bit of safety where you just, you just feel a little bit more secure. That, yes. That you're not going to lose everything. And, for, for, and the fact that we have lost data is like, we both know how soul crushing that can be to put all your time and all your effort and all your heart into this writing just for it to like go in a split second. Right. right. And it does make it harder to go back to those stories. So we never want to have to do that again because writing can no. be quite difficult. Writing is the worst. It's also I mean, the best, I'll, but it's the worst. I'll just yeah. lay that all on the table right now. <laughs> We hate writing. writing. Is, like writing is great and I, I love it. I have a passion for it. It's fun, but it's the worst at the same time because it's so difficult and it's so time consuming and it's tedious at times so that once you work so hard on something and you lose it in a split second, it's like your soul is just crushed. Yeah. The idea of going back and thinking, yeah, I'll just rewrite it. Even if it's going to be different, it's like you can't even, it's so hard to even just pull yourself to think, yeah, I'll just start again with that story it's almost like no i'm gonna have to pick something else to write because yeah and i know i sounded so dramatic right then <laughs> it's true <laughs> don't worry people we do actually love writing we're not <laughs> sinking down it's like we love it we love it but we hate it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well i think every writer they they love writing but they hate it just a little bit a tiny bit yeah <laughs> I don't know. it's with every it's like everything else <laughs> exactly exactly okay we're gonna finish there we hope you enjoyed this episode do let us know your own worst data loss in the comments or on twitter using the hashtag the merry writer podcast if you want to get some extra content head over to our patreon page at patreon.com forward slash the merry writer podcast you can support our show and get some great rewards tune in next week for another episode of the merry writer podcast where we ask all the right questions thanks for listening bye bye this podcast is brought to you by Shiny Objects. We're easily distracted. The music, title inspired, is by Kevin McLeod, licensed under Creative Commons 4.0.